Hello and welcome to Aethel and The Kid. And today we're doing a throwback Star Wars review again. <laughs> they're, they're on the same same side. But okay. Um, so today we're going to review a slightly older UCS set, the ATST UCS set, and the details will be up on your screen to tell you the year of release and the piece count, etc. Um, it's pretty big. Hopefully you can still see us around it. I really like this set. I think for the time when this was released, it's got an awful lot of detail on it. It's pretty sturdy and quite clever the way that it that it's built. Um, they haven't done a ATST in the UCS um, collection since this one. They probably are due to do another one and they probably will because as we've uh, discussed before they tend to re-release these things. But this was one I was pretty pleased to have got my hands on um, near its time of release because they just haven't done anything like it since. And I think it's probably the most accurate one they've done. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, the legs are pretty thick um, and pretty chunky on this set. And that's for stability. So in universe, they're obviously quite a bit thinner. It's a bit like a chicken yeah. jumping around, isn't it? Yeah. Just goes like. And they've made, they've they've compromised here for stability, which I think they're. Well, the rumor is they're bringing out their UCS AT80 next month. Um, we're 2021 at the moment in October, and uh, the jury's out on how they're going to do the legs on that because again, the legs are pretty thin on AT80s. And the Lego 8080s are pretty flimsy, um, despite looking very good. And we have done a review of uh, the Lego 8080, so check that out. We'll put a link in the description below. Um, and they are very good sets, and they look very good, but they are very flimsy. And as time goes by, and the friction and clutch power goes a little bit, as older sets do, they get even flimsier whereas this one because they've compromised and made it a little bit sturdier a little bit chunkier in terms of its build it stays upright as it should and it's it's pretty pretty sturdy yeah. there's not a huge amount you can do with it is there no but i mean they have put ginormous feet on it it's got ginormous feet but then again yeah they're probably not yeah. scaled very well with the rest of the model but they've done that for stability so well, i mean okay compromise do you think yeah, I think so. I, I think so too. I think they probably could do this better if they were to remake it now. But I think yeah. you certainly look at it and know what it is. Um, so it's fairly close to, to what it is in universe. And I think you can just appreciate that it's made of Lego. So therefore some compromises have had to be made in order to make it stand up and be sturdy and look good on display. Which I think it does. Does the head turn? Does the head turn? I, th I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So you can pose it a bit with the head, so I guess. Pose it with the head just a little bit. It doesn't turn all the way around because of the, the pieces on the front of the legs here on the yeah. not knees. What would they be? Hips? I but guess so. It is attached in the right place, although it's only kind of for show, but the legs are attached in the right place on this model, whereas on the smaller scaled ATSTs they've done, which have more play value. Um, the, the mechanisms are attached in a, in a different place just so that you get some working mechanisms and some action, action and play features on them. Yeah. Whereas this Daddy, being displayed, quickly. yeah. If, if that's knee and that's hip, then that would, then what would that be? I don't know, shoulder? I don't know if they're legs or are they, are they, are they legs or are they arms? I think they're legs, so it's like... Wow, <clears throat> this is going well off tangent. Um, but there's a lot of greebling on this set. The head is made of plates and then they're effectively held together with elastic bands. So you've got some pins in there with ball joints on them, uh, with balls on the end, and then the elastic bands kind of hook around those to hold the plates together to the side, which is quite clever, really, but probably doesn't stand up to a lot of playing, does it? It's, no. it's, I guess that kind of makes it fairly fragile. Although, having said that, I've never had the issues with this that I have with the 8080s, where they... Um, uh, bits fall off them all the time. Um, in terms of posability, it is hinged at the front there, so the head kind of tilts a little bit forwards and back, but only a little bit. Um, there are some joints on the legs, so you can twist and pose those a little bit as well. But to be honest, 
you could play around with it and find a, a, a nicer pose if you wished, but it's most sturdy in this just kind of basic standing form. So I think that's kind of where I like to leave it. Um, but it's quite detailed all the way around, quite a lot of greebling on the back as well. The guns are done really nicely, all made Did up with smaller pieces. Be? It was, yeah. You can adjust you know, the guns on the sides a little oh, bit. Nice. Um, are there any other features that I'm forgetting? Anything else it can do? Yeah, just one thing, just so that, the hatch, the hatch comes, comes up. up. I like the mechanism for that, actually. So that's quite similar to, to in Universe again. So being an Ultimate Collector Series set, it is quite accurate to how things would work in Universe. And you can lift the whole of the top yeah. up as well. Although that's a little bit more, i say delicate. And then you can see bad. the rubber bands. There's not any interior. Really. And then <laughs> see if we can show the camera inside. So you can see the rubber bands that are kind of holding the side panels together. Yeah. But otherwise, it's just a really nice display model. And I suppose this harks back to when UCS sets, Ultimate Collector Series sets, first came about. And they were older set for, for, for adults um, and for display only. So designed to look more like the thing in universe, but to be bigger in scale and to have more greebling and, you know, not really any play features or action features, just something you could just, a little bit of adjustment for posing purposes, and put on display. And, and I quite liked it when they did that, but nowadays they're kind of compromising a little bit and putting some more action features in, some more play features in, as well as just, you know, got more pieces that they can use in their, in their arsenal now to make, to make nicer looking sets. But yeah, I think all in all, I'm really happy with this. It stands up to the test of time in yeah. terms of its build quality, its sturdiness and how it looks. I like the fact it's got a lot of studs on it. Again, when they remake this, which I'm sure they will, they'll probably smooth out a lot of the surfaces because a lot of cable. Yeah, well, there we go. Not quite as sturdy as we thought. <laughs> but um, that is that is the beauty of Lego. If bits fall off, you can put them back on. Yeah. Um, but I think they'll probably smooth out some of the surfaces if they remake this. But I quite like the studs because it does look like Lego. So you're kind of in that. Oh, is that is that is that Lego from a distance? And then you get a little bit closer, and you're like, oh, the studs. Yeah, it is Lego. It is. Whereas some of the sets now, it's, it's difficult to tell even quite close up. But um, but I like that too, so it just depends on, on preference. But certainly I think this stands up to the test of the time. I know it's a set that a lot of AFOLs out there and Star Wars fans um, wish they had gotten and hopefully will get the opportunity to get one uh, in the near future. And I'm sure having, you know, once they've done their, the AT-80, which uh, hopefully is coming out next month, yeah. we'll, um, we'll see some sort of modern interpretations of how they might do these kinds of vehicles going forward. But that is the uh, UCS... ATST and uh, thanks for watching Afel and the Kid Bye. we look forward to seeing you again soon do a like and subscribe our channel and our videos and comment below we'll do our best to get back to as many of you can as of you as we can um, going forward and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see you again soon for more reviews bye, bye.